In this video, we'll cover circumference of a circle. Specifically, we'll answer the questions, what is circumference and how do I find the circumference of a circle? Let's start with what circumference is. Circumference is the distance around a circle. So for some figures, while we talk about the distance around as perimeter, for circles, know that specifically the distance around is called the circumference. To find circumference, you're going to multiply two values, the value of pi times the diameter. A couple of things to note here. Pi is the ratio of the circumference of any circle over the diameter. It's an irrational value, meaning that it never ends, it never terminates. So we are going to estimate for the value of pi with the decimal three and 14 hundredths. That is not the actual value of pi, but it's a really good estimate in what we'll use for our calculations today. Now diameter, just as a reminder, is the distance across a circle going through the center of the circle. To write the formula for finding circumference, there's two ways that you can write it depending on what information you're given. First, if you have a circle and they label or give you the diameter, we'll use this first formula, c equals pi d, which simply means circumference equals the value of pi, we will estimate with 3.14, multiplied by the diameter. Now sometimes we see on a circle the radius labeled, and the radius is half of the diameter. It's any point from the center of the circle to the outside of the circle. If I have the radius, I'm going to write the formula as c equals two pi r, which simply means to multiply two times 3.14 times the radius. And this makes sense since the radius is half the distance of the diameter, we would just need to multiply it by two to find the circumference. Let's work through some examples and I would encourage you at any point in this video to pause it at the beginning of an example to work through it and try it on your own before you see the solution completed. Find the circumference of the circle. In this diagram, we're given the diameter. So I will first write the formula as C equals pi D. If I substitute in the diameter, which here is eight, we can see that we need to multiply pi times eight. I do want to note here that sometimes they ask for a solution in terms of pi, and you would actually stop here if that's what they wanted. In terms of pi means that you wouldn't multiply by pi, you would leave it as eight pi. It doesn't say that here, so we'll go ahead and multiply eight times our estimate of three and 14 hundredths. And when we do that, we get 25 and 12 hundredths. And don't forget your unit of measurement, which in this problem is inches. Let's try another. Find the circumference of the circle. We can see on this circle that they have given us the distance halfway or from the middle center to the outside. So here's our radius, meaning we wanna write the formula as C equals two pi R. Substitute what we know, the radius is 6.5. And first I'm going to multiply these two values, two times six and five tenths which gives me 13. Again, this is where you would stop if they wanted the solution in terms of pi. For today, we'll multiply, and for pi, we're going to use 3.14. Multiply, that gives me here a circumference of 40 and 82 hundredths centimeters. This question says a circular donut has a diameter of seven centimeters. The circular hole in the center of the donut has a radius of one and five tenths centimeters. Find the circumference of the donut. So they want the circumference of the donut and we need to know if this information about the hole in the center of the donut matters and it doesn't. The size of this hole is not going to affect the circumference of the entire donut. So know that this sentence is just extra information. The circumference, since we are given the diameter, is equal to pi times the diameter. So filling in what we know, the diameter is seven. We'll multiply 3.14 times seven, and we'll get a solution of 28, I'm sorry, 21 and 98 hundredths centimeters. 
One more question. A tire has a radius of 13.5 inches. Find the distance the tire will travel after one full rotation. I want to point out that this question doesn't actually use the word circumference anywhere. But if you think about a tire and the way that a tire would travel, the distance that it will cover would be equal to one full rotation around, or in other words, the circumference. So here, because we're given the radius, I'll write the formula as C equals 2 pi r. The radius is 13 and 5 tenths. I'll start by multiplying 13.5 times 2, which will give us 27. Now we're needing to multiply 27 times 3.14, and we'll see that the distance after one rotation would be 84 and 78 hundredths, and that's inches. All right, we've answered the questions, what is circumference, and how do I find the circumference of a circle? Great job, and thanks for listening. I sure hope that helped. Check out the links below, and be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.